Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here again. So I had some paint left over from my safari pores and um, I figured let's have some fun. So when I was doing the tiger inspired, I was getting cells with the gold and the copper. These are artist loft colors all this is copper artist loft and then there's old gold and the flow acrylic in black and I had even made them extra thick I had only used uh, one part flow trawl to one part paint uh, and it was still um, cells popping up so I figured let's see what happens so I'm gonna do a straight pour with the copper gold and black and these are a hair thicker than uh, actually it's a little more than a hair thicker than how I usually mix for a straight pour but if I can get it to work thicker, that's even better because I'll get better coverage on the sides. I'm going to lay down my uh, base coat first and just whatever's left I will use. This is so much thicker than what I use usually for a straight pour. So we have a base coat down. There's not much black left here, so not sure what's going to happen. There's definitely more metallics left than black. I have a black here. Don't know if there's silicone in it or not. Well, that copper is not sinking. Here we go, straight pour. All right, let's pop our bubbles. Pouring from that height does create a lot of bubbles. I want to catch that edge 
on this side and stretch that all out. Okay, well, it's not a boatload of cells, but I still like it. I like this composition here. Okay, here we are close up. Those metallics are going to look really nice on that black background. Of course, the cells didn't happen because I was going for them. If I had pretended I was going for a tiger, I would have gotten the cells. However, this has a still has a cool 3D effect that I'm digging. All right, that's it for me. Another experiment in the books. Please like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff. And y'all have a beautiful day. And go make some art.